Hello everyone, this is Randy here again. Another episode of Farm and Simmer 2013. And we are playing more realistic on the Heron Hassan map. And it is raining. Oh well. Good for the crops, I guess. Anyway, this episode, uh, just to recap what I did off screen, I have finished planting field 7. It's all planted, ready to go. And I also, also yeah finished planting field 13 it is all ready to go as well so and I do see some bits and pieces of 27 here already anyway what I want to do is purchase a mower of some sorts just look and see what's what we have for mowers here I don't have any modded ones I don't believe so it's gonna be a modded in-game one <laughs> that, that's actually somewhat tempting, maybe. We could uh, do some course play with that. That'd be kind of funny. Oh, what do we got? You know, I guess we'll get... Uh... Yeah, maybe we'll buy these pieces here and uh, see how that works. Let's see, what do we got for tractors? Yeah. No. I was going to say that one, but uh, you know what? Maybe we'll uh, grab another one. Grab this guy. He can run the mowers. I think. Let's see. Was there a power requirement? 50 to 75. 150. No, we better grab the... Uh, you better grab this guy then. Oh, that field just uh, became. went to the next growth stage. Actually, I wonder, does that mean. that should mean 27 is going to be updating, I would think. Except for the fact it's raining, we can't harvest in the rain. That sucks. Oh well. Oh, speaking of rain, I happen to come across a weather mod. It's supposed to be for the more realistic uh, version, with a like more realistic weather. Yeah, it sounds really. Let's see what's here. You gotta hook up. Uh... Yeah. Okay. Yep. Sounds really uh, wicked. I haven't uh, put it in yet. I kind of want to, like, you know, test it somehow first and just see what's what kind of damage I'm going to get out of it. And it, it does promise crop damage, so that's that's what I mean by damage. It uh, will actually damage stuff, I guess. Oh, we'll catch up with that car yet. And what kind of width was that on here? Working with 8.7. Is that the total unfolded width or the uh, combined width minus what's in the middle? I guess is the uh, width without uh, what's in the middle there, if I had to guess. So we're looking at 8.7 plus the 2.7. So we're looking at roughly, we'll maybe just say 10. 10 meters, maybe. Okay. Something isn't right. Oh, field 27 is ready to go, so... Okay, I got my, all my times and stuff there.
Okay, there might be something wrong with that back mower. That appears to work, though. I don't know if you guys are noticing what I'm noticing. All my, uh, you know, stuff on my screen is disappearing when I hook that up. So, I don't think we can... Oh, wait, you know what? We can use that. Uh, what I can do... We're going to sell that one. That's going to get me 16000 I'll just remember to add another 16000 back into my game. And we're going to go buy the uh, non-moralistic one, then. I don't think that should matter too much. Nope, mowers. Oh, it's cheaper here. Interesting. I'm still going to add 16,000 back into my game, but... Uh, let's see, if I just reset it, it'll pop up over there. That should be okay. Hopefully this one doesn't cause the same problem. I want to know why it would. Uh, it does cause the same problem. Okay. Now the question is why? Well, I'm going to have to remember now to add in... I'll just, uh... Yeah, I'm going to do something about that. Uh, that'll be another 14,000. So that'll be 36,000. Oh, wait a minute. That's not right. Yeah, okay. Uh, no, it's uh, 30,000. I was thinking, wait a minute, no, not that much. That's uh, 16 plus uh, 14. Okay, we're just going to be using the uh, front mower then, I guess, which is... I might actually have the course set up for that then. What is this? Oh, this is 2 meters. Uh, okay. Press 1, outline. We're going to set it to 2, maybe, yeah, let's make it 2.6, I guess. It was 2.7, so, yield edge. Uh, we want a headland. I guess that means headland first, I'm assuming. Uh, starting corner, that was northeast, I think. And we're going south. Generate that course. And drive that course, please. There we go. That looks good so far. Obviously, we don't have quite the width I wanted, but... Uh, oh, well. Got course play doing it, so that doesn't uh, bother me too much then. I could probably actually switch this tractor out then for one of those smaller... Oh, man, what happened to my grass there? That's a bummer. Looks like someone ran it over with a cultivator. Anyway, let's get our combine. Yeah, we can't harvest in the rain, but we'll at least get them over there and lined up and ready to go. And yeah, unfortunately I cannot fit the combines in that shed there. Don't recall if I showed that on screen or not. They don't fit underneath the doors, so... Well, this field here is ready to harvest as well.
Uh, you know what? I'll still head out to the big field. That's where I was originally heading, so... We got lots and lots of canola out there. And I've kind of found, you know, the easiest way to get there. At least with the combine, anyway, because of the header and stuff, and... Traffic. What kind of traffic would he get into out there? Don't even want to know. That's for sure. Drive through that tree. So, let me know any of your thoughts on that uh, weather mod there. Um, yeah, if you think I should add it or what. Maybe after I harvest my crop so they can't destroy this crop, maybe? That's... <laughs> it says, yeah, like I say, it sounds kind of uh, wicked, so... Wicked isn't being kind of... Ooh, somewhat good, but... Kind of, sort of not, if you know what I mean. Okay, grab the other combine as well. Actually, let me check on... Oh, looks like he's still going, so... I see the uh, position of the header has moved. And this John Deere here actually has the bigger header than the S690. I know that's a little bit backwards, but... Fortunately, this header does not fit on the 690, so... plan on picking up the other, was it 9770 combine yet, I believe it was. Yeah, I plan on picking that combine up yet, and then you will obviously, you know, throw another big header on that combine. Maybe we'll get rid of the 690, I'm not sure, but actually if we get rid of the 690, we can probably actually afford that other combine, but... Yeah, if we got all the straw here, I can pick up yet, too. I've been uh, working at that off-screen a little bit. A little bit of time, I've been picking up the straw on this map here and there. should probably actually see if I can run the uh, wind rower over this and... See if that uh, will combine some of these rows. That would make it easier. Combine is kind of slow. <laughs> Taking a while to get there. Oh, bummer. Are you guys getting piled up behind my combine? Did I leave that parked in the way? Oh, that is so sad. Okay, and I should probably shut this guy off, otherwise he will burn all my fuel up. And one nice thing that auto combine has, it has a distance keeper on it, so... I'll probably get both these combines going on this field, once the rain lets up anyway. You know what, maybe I should just uh, speed up time. You know, throw it on like 15 times or something. Let's see what's what you're doing. 
Oh, you're not quite going the way I wanted. That's fine, I guess. I don't really care which way you go. It doesn't make much difference. Okay, it looks like I had the starting corner right then, right? Northeast? So I probably wanted to go west. I think I figured this out last time, but I don't remember what it was. Yeah, from the looks of it, I probably wanted to go west. Oh, well. The only thing here is he might get stuck on the road. That's the only uh, problem that this might cause with him going that way. Okay, let's grab another tractor then. That guy's a little bit overkill. Ooh, this guy's probably perfect for this. We'll grab the hay rake. We should probably grab some fuel as well. Yeah, unless you don't want to go in the negative, it's probably a good idea to keep a fairly large surplus of cash on hand. I mean, you can you know, all the money I have right now, you could easily blow on planting this field. You want to plant it in, like, canola, and then uh, fertilize it. Absolutely uh, kill the amount of money I have. And, yeah, obviously we got away a little bit cheaper here last time because I used the uh, manure for it. It's essentially free fertilizer, other than the uh, the cows we had to buy to get it. It's supposed to be uh, sunny tomorrow, according to this, so that should be good for harvesting crops. <clears throat> oh, he just misses the road from the looks of it. That's good. Oh, he does get on the road there, but okay. Oop, there went that sign. And did I have a course for this one? It would appear not. Okay. I'm going to delete the... Uh, two meter one then. Try save this one. Two point five M. Not quite the right direction, but yeah, it's not the end of the world. Okay, I need one more tractor for the pickup wagon. Which I left Oh, I know where I left it. Giving him a try on the back of the chopper here to see if he holds any more than the other one. Or potatoes. Oh, man, I don't have any potatoes. Oh, well. So, yeah, I got uh, chopped... Chopped straw. Technically, it's considered... I don't know, chopped whatever that is in there at the moment, so... Yeah, I guess we can chop some more while we wait. It does uh, take a while to do this, obviously. And also, I noticed... Uh, 
Yeah, I kind of I missed a big bunch here. I'll have to come back and get that at some point. Uh, okay, according to this, it's wheat, so... Or it's wheat straw, anyway, so it must be wheat there. Pretty much have this field done, I'm going to say. You know, that funny loop de doos there, I'm not going to bother with that. It's a pain in the butt to try to pick that up. Yeah, wait a minute here. How come we're not, uh... That's interesting. Well, there wasn't straw in there before. Not sure what to say about that. That should have been uh, 20,000 of chopped whatever that is. Um, interesting. I wouldn't care so much except for the fact it uh, took me quite a while to pick that uh, 20,000 up. So, um, yeah. Just, nope, I want to disconnect that. Yeah, it says there's straw in there, don't it? Okay, I'll let that sit, see if I can maybe change that. Uh... Oh, you know what I could probably do? Probably modify that bunker and add the 20,000 to that bunker over there. And I'll uh, dump this straw. Ooh, the cows, I think the cows needed it, so we'll probably give it to the cows then. Ooh, and it stopped raining. Perfect. Okay, should be good to go. Oh, let's start the engine. I keep forgetting this one is the uh, manual ignition. There we go. Now he's good to go. And is the chopper on? Uh, no, this is canola, so it won't matter. Hopefully he uh, misses those trees there. Yeah, for some reason it automatically turns on whatever that thingy majig is there. Oh, it's when I do five, that's what it is. Okay. Maximizer. Ooh, does that mean we get more crops from it? Nope, don't want that trailer. Oh, I can't really see out the back there, can I?
Eh, we'll just cut across the field with this thing, too. Looks like it can handle it. Put on brakes. Yeah, pretty much. Whoa, that's interesting. I started stopping, like, you know, when I got on this field here, and it took that long to stop, so. Yeah, we got a brand new Agus Tenius trailer hooked up. I don't think we've used this at all yet. It's uh, pretty much the same one. Oh, that's interesting. That's probably a problem. Pretty much the uh, same one as we had before, just, uh, you know, designed for a truck instead of be towed by a tractor. Should probably put them up. That would probably help. And I was talking about these uh, jack stands here, by the way. Keep forgetting about that with these uh, trailers. Got to put them up with them. Hey, boys, are going kind of slow, aren't you? Just thinking this track or combine usually went six miles an hour, about, but. Yeah, I kind of want to make my windrows going long ways on the field, so I guess I kind of have to wait till he's all done. It's kind of the problem with him going that way. Okay, let's uh, see once... Oh, he, they took all of that straw. Oh, there's a lot of straw laying around now. Well, on the uh, positive side of things, I can now use it to uh, pick up the grass, I guess. Let's see if we can sneak through here. And the nice thing with the course play working now, I can actually uh, set this course up for the rake. And then I can use the same course I used for the rake for my pickup wang in there. And he should be able to pick up all the grass without me having to do anything. That's always a big plus. I'll probably end up doing some of it, though. Here's the thing, though. If I, uh, if I do the rake and I cannot probably have him pick up because it won't be the same spot, so... If I want my pickup wing to pick this grass up, I have to course play the uh, grass raking. Actually, maybe we'll set that up right now. We're going to want outline one. Field work mode. And what was the width on this? We have, yeah, that one right there, I believe, with a working width of 8.5. Okay, maybe we'll make it 8 then. It's always good to have just a little bit of overlap. And we'll start in the same northeast corner going, uh, no, yeah, south. And headland one before. Generate that course. That would be the start point back there. I should probably move him back to that then. This other tractor out of the way. Okay. And yeah, I'll wait to drive the course until he's done mowing. We'll save that as... Grassfield 1, rake 8M. 
and then I'm actually going to load the exact same course on this guy. Okay. And with that, folks, I think we'll call it an episode. I will let this guy finish mowing his field and the Combines doing their work. Uh, they're making a right mess of it, aren't they? Probably a little bit of a hill there. You can't quite make, I'm guessing. Yeah, you can see him slipping. Yeah, when they can't make the hill or whatever they're trying to do, they make a right mess of the field. Anyway, like I was about to say, we'll call it an episode there. I will get these guys straightened out. So, if you guys have any comments or questions, be sure to leave them below. And as always, thanks for watching. Till next time.